A parasitic battery drain can wreak havoc on a vehicle's electrical system and quite possibly leave your customer stranded with a discharged battery. In this video, we'll review an updated procedure for testing parasitic draw using a DVOM and measuring voltage drop across fuses. Parasitic draw is when a power consumer, such as a module, output, or accessory, stays on when the vehicle is in sleep mode. The trick to efficiently test for this is to enter and maintain sleep mode. This technique removes the need to pull fuses when testing. That can often wake the vehicle up. Let's take a look at the procedure on this 2017 Volvo V60. Begin by locating and accessing all the fuse panels. Our subject vehicle has fuse panels located at the left side of the engine compartment and behind the glove box. Next, latch any open doors, trunk, tailgate, or hood that has to remain open for fuse access. Work with the vehicle unlocked, and if the vehicle you're working on has a smart key, be sure it is stowed away from the vehicle so as not to wake it up. This will initiate sleep mode. After an hour, the vehicle should be asleep. Keep in mind, sleep mode times vary, and some vehicles may take over an hour to enter sleep mode. Once sleep mode has been achieved, use a DVOM with a low amp clamp to confirm there is a parasitic draw. In our example, there is a parasitic draw of 1400 milliamps. While manufacturer specifications vary for parasitic draw, generally speaking, the max amount of draw you want to see is 50 milliamps. But be sure to check the specifics for your vehicle you're working on. With our draw confirmed, we can work on isolating the circuit. Set your DVOM to millivolts. Then, starting at the engine compartment fuse panel, place the positive and negative probe tip on each side of each fuse, one at a time. Note the voltage reading. If your DVOM displays a negative voltage, swap the positive and negative probe locations. Be sure to check all fuses, even if you find a draw, as multiple components may be on and this information can lead you to the root cause much faster. We found one fuse with voltage readings that seem suspect. Fuse A43 60 amp has a voltage drop value of 1.2 millivolts. Using our chart, we can see that the amount of draw on the suspect fuse is 1400 milliamps. In this example, we have 1.4 amp draw. Using a wiring diagram, we can identify what the fuse provides power for and the possible cause. Our subject vehicle has a draw at the engine cooling fan. Another way to confirm the fan is consuming power when it should be off is to use a thermal camera to measure component temperature. The vehicle has been parked during our testing and the engine is relatively cool. Note the engine cooling fan control module has a higher heat signature. We can easily disconnect the electrical connector at the fan control module and recheck for a draw. With the electrical connector disconnected, we have zero millivolts at the fuse now. We'll have to replace this component to remedy the draw and when done, recheck the vehicle and confirm the repair. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos for helpful tips and procedures.